Welcome to Kosminski Experts. Joining me is Professor Aleksandra Przegalinska, one of the pioneers of artificial intelligence in both Poland and I would say also on the international level. And today we will talk a little bit about artificial intelligence in business. Uh, what are the pros, cons and should people really uh, be worried about the implementation of AI in business? So, Aleksandra, tell mm. me, uh, what do you think the current state of implementation of AI in businesses. Mm -hmm. Are many businesses doing it? Well, obviously the answer here is not simple in the sense that I think many businesses, many organizations of different scale are interested in AI and they're trying to map how mm -hmm. they could use it or they're running some pilot projects, but it does not necessarily translate into their overall mm -hmm. strategy or business model. So we have AI native companies that are built around AI and uh, Netflix mm -hmm. here or Spotify are very good examples of companies that are mainly building recommendation systems for products that they're offering. Mm -hmm. And here AI is a core point of that recommendation because it manages their portfolio in a way, right? So you have companies like that. You also have more old school companies mm -hmm. that are trying to change through artificial intelligence. So I don't know, mining companies like, you know, um, very traditional businesses that are trying to use AI here and there to segment their customers, to target them. Um, you know, the financial sector has been using artificial intelligence for a while already uh, to understand whether it should give someone a loan or not, right, to uh, kind of build, let's say, their client portfolio and for many other um, things as well. We've been using artificial intelligence for business uh, intelligence, right, to have some insights about demographics, about the future, the upcoming trends, predictive aspects. Right, so AI was present and um, for, a, let's say, the past decade has been developed. However, now we're in a moment where artificial intelligence is becoming really very important for companies and the pressure is higher, right? So using some methods here and there in some aspects is not enough. You really have to switch, right? Your mm -hmm. new digital strategy really has to be robust. And in that sense, uh, and I'm not talking only about Poland, obviously this is a major challenge, right? This is just the entry phase where many companies are still not using AI. Maybe they are aware of it. They know that it's uh, something that they could or should explore, but they're still very cautious about it, right? So it's a very important moment to really try and be on board because mm -hmm. as some very interesting reports were uh, showing, there was one report by MIT Sloan School about uh, the rise of AI. And they were saying that the gap between companies that are indeed using AI fully and those that are not at all mm -hmm. is really enlarging every year, right? So competitive advantage that you're gaining through AI is going to really speed you up. And those laggers, uh, you know, who are not doing it are going to stay far mm -hmm. behind and the distance between you will increase. So in that sense, uh, I would say, yes, business mm -hmm. is using artificial intelligence. Is it enough? I'm not sure. Well, the next thing that comes into mind, I think, to our viewers, and I think we should enlighten them a little bit, is that, for example, a lot of them probably are worried that a robot will replace them. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? That the future will be like that, that people will lose their jobs, or will it look a little bit differently? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the future is mainly about reskilling, which means acquiring new skills, learning something new. Uh, for many people, it will mean certain transformation. Uh, to me, that does not mean loss of job. It more uh, perhaps is connotated with the fact that in this new reality, new skills will be mm -hmm. needed for this particular job that you're doing today without them, right? So the way I think about it, and also again, this report by MIT was showing that quite clearly, companies that are using heavily AI are not firing people. They're just transforming you know, the, the work flow and mm -hmm. the way people work and how they manage teams and so on and so forth and the, the tasks that they're given. They've observed that people who are using AI are more effective in their work, but they were not firing people. Obviously, you can find mm -hmm. examples of companies that have fired people because of the rise of new technology, but generally uh, m many, many uh, sources provide us with uh, knowledge that this is not the case. AI is not about getting rid of humans. AI is about giving new tools to humans. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't be worried. I would rather look into the possibilities of enhancing your skill set also in this domain and uh, just stay calm. <laughs> I would say that for today, right, you can reach your goals. 
but with yes. artificial intelligence, uh, with artificial intelligence, you can exceed them even yes, more. Yes, upgrade. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you would name like the top three industries, right? Mm -hmm. the top three businesses from various industries that um, will be most changed mm -hmm. by artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's a hard uh, uh, question. Again, I would definitely name logistics. Logistics. Finance. Finance. Medicine. Medicine. But I would also add legal tech. So the whole legal system here, AI is okay. going to be very present too. So actually when you want to be honest, I'm not sure if there is any domain that is not going to be transformed uh, by AI sooner or later. But for the better. Let's for the better. Let's, for the better. Let's remember Obviously. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what we want. So, thank you for joining today's uh, Kosminski Experts. And we hope to see you soon on our next episode if you want to learn more uh, interesting things from our experts. Thank you.